successful economic reforms and rising consumer demand at home have kept East Asia's economies stable in the face of global economic uncertainty. The World Bank's East Asia update says that despite a likely drop from recent double-digit levels, overall growth remains healthy in the region. Uh, we expect that uh, 2008 will have a growth rate of between 8 and 9 percent, so a 1.5 percentage point slowdown, which is significant. But still, I think the region will continue to be the fastest growing developing region in the world. A key reason behind the continued buoyancy is that East Asian exporters have increased their trade within the region and beyond to markets other than the United States. Domestic demand has, is now playing a much bigger role in driving growth in the East Asia region. But in addition, uh, what uh, East Asia has been able to do is to diversify their export markets. So even though uh, there is a significant decline in demand, say, from the United States, which is experiencing a slowdown, um, East Asia has been able to export significantly larger amounts to Europe and to other developing countries. East Asian banks have limited direct exposure to subprime risks. China is the largest holder of U.S. mortgage-backed securities, but should be able to absorb potential losses. The bank warns that the region's poor, however, could go hungry as oil and food prices rise. This is of some huge concern because many of the improvements in uh, the poverty rate of these countries may be stalled or even set back temporarily as a result of rising food prices. The bank says there's already evidence that real incomes of poor people in rural areas are down substantially because of higher food prices.